How's it going guys? So today I'm coming back to you with my third video on the channel, which is the Chippewa Lake Amusement Park, which we visited actually two days ago, but I'm just getting time to edit the video and post it on YouTube. So I'm going to start out with a little bit of history behind the park. So starting back in 1875, it was originally known as Andrews Pleasure Grounds. Um, it was Edward Andrews organized a you know a picnic ground and beach under the name of his name, his name with Pleasure Grounds you know in front of that, and uh, it operated with some success, um, but it, the condition the condition of the place really deteriorated over time, and it was only open till 1898 when the name changed to Chippewa Lake Park. Um, Mac Beach he acquired Chippewa Lake in 1898, and uh, the park Im improved immensely. And over time, they uh, in the Roaring Twenties, they had their first modern coaster was built in the park, and it was designed by Fred Pierce. Um, it was named the Big Dipper, and then it was simply known as the Coaster, you know, around the people that went there. And um, you know, they had a live band seven nights a week. Uh, the park opener, the park opened their first wooden coaster in 1925. The coaster was a fairly small coaster, it was about 50 feet high, and the coaster stood abandoned for over 30 years until it was demolished in 2010. The Beach family kept the park running successfully into the 1960s. Eventually, Chippewa Lake would feature three roller coasters, flying cages, a Ferris wheel, carousel, tumblebug, ballroom, and many other rides. So from 1978 to, to, to um, 2008, um, after the park's closure, it was left largely untouched by the neighbors and anybody around it. And there was no hope of repair. It just became rusted and rotted away. And I'm just going to give you the list of the attractions, the full list of attractions from, you know, when it was known as Chippewa Lake. So we had the coaster, the Ferris wheel, miniature railroad, carousel, funhouse, tumblebug, dodgem, little dipper, Himalaya, the flying cages, the caterpillar, flying scooters, octopus, tilt a whirl, rocket ship, and wild mouse. And this place was is still left untouched. Um, a lot of people do come and visit it. Um, if you guys do want to go into the park, I advise you to talk to the neighbor uh, on the left. Um, there's one house in the front with the rides in front, and on the left of that, you can ask her to go in and have permission so you guys don't get arrested by the cops. And she'll, she's really nice. She'll let a spark in her yard and everything. But um, you know, this place has been destroyed by the teenagers. People have came in. A teenager also did throw his cigarette there a couple years ago and did burn down. Um, it burnt down the Chippewa Lake Ballroom, and that was there, and it was about 4, 4 p.m. This was in 2002, I'm pretty sure, um, from what I was told and what I've seen. So um, if you guys go into this, uh, you know, attraction, I mean, or the Vanna Place, please respect the property. It is up for sale if anyone wants to buy it for $3.7 million. And let's get right into the video. When you guys first pull in, you're gonna see, you're gonna be in a roundabout, and you're gonna see neighbors on the side. There's gonna be two neighbors. The first one with the old rides in front. I don't know if anyone lives there, but the neighbor on the left will actually let you in if you talk to her. So I advise you to do that so you don't get arrested, obviously, by the signs I'm showing you guys right now. And I'm gonna take you in the park in a couple seconds. Now the this clip is actually about a five this five, yeah it's about a five minute clip or a four minute clip, and this is when you first get into the park. Um, you have to go around the other side and there's a little gate you guys can go through. It's right next to where you're not supposed to enter, but this is where she told us to go in. And first you'll go up a hill and you'll be met with the old ballroom. And the old ballroom actually is one of the biggest attractions there. And um, it held concerts and dances and you know, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of old memories were made there over the, over, you know, the years. And um, my grandpa actually told me today when I was talking to him that his ancestors and people that, you know, haven't been in our family used to go there all the time and had the dances and seen concerts. He personally never went there because he was young. Um, but this place, actually, Correction, was not burnt down by somebody throwing down a cigarette. That was another part of the park that was burnt down. Um, what I'm reading is, it was in 2002, a little girl was playing in an abandoned ballroom, um, and the wide floor began to bow dangerously. And uh, she started to play with fire, whoever she was with. And it was about 4 p.m. The flames spread quickly into the, the structure. And once they reached the scene, um, it, they couldn't really get in. The fire trucks were stuck because it was hampered by the gated off grounds. Um, it was just, it was already burned down. That's what I was told. 
and this is coming from ForgottenOhio.com. Shout out to them. They have a great page. If you guys want to learn anything about Forgotten Ohio, anything abandoned, anything you know that's shut down, go to that page. They will hook you guys up. Now, I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of this clip. There's going to be no audio, but we are exploring the main grounds when you first walk in. The ballroom, the main entrance, the main pathway, and then we're going to show you around you know, the other structures, the old roller coasters, the old rides and everything. And you guys can skip around in the video, you know, there's some, sometimes we're just walking. So have fun with the video and enjoy. Actually, in this part of the clip, um, sorry, I come back to you guys some more audio on this, but um, this is the old pier that used to house the boats that went around the lake. It's really interesting. We got some good pictures out here. The lake was obviously frozen, but it was a good time for some good pictures. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. Now, the audio cut out on this one because my camera was kind of acting up that day, but I was saying what a beautiful view it was out there, and we're going we're gonna to start the video out there. Um, and come into the park that way, but obviously it wouldn't make sense to come through the entrance you can't go in So we just came in through the side entrance, but um Yeah, this is the pier like I said where the boats went around the lake and they had some tours on the lake So it was probably a great time back in you know the 20s 50s 40s all those ages 
I'm just going to be doing some voiceovers for these next clips because most of them, the audio was not recording right. It kept fading in and out. So I'm just going to give you some clear audio. Now, we came out of the pathway that led to the lake and the pier. So we were up here, and it was just an old you know, trailer. I'm guessing somebody home was probably living there. I don't know what the whole use of it was because I don't think it would be used by the music park unless it was you know, a food truck ride or a food truck or something like that, but it housed a lot of the wood in there, and um, there's an old stove in there too, so I mean, I, I think it was probably for food, um, you know, one of the food trucks that they, you know, you've seen them at Cedar Point, and, or any amusement park, but um, yeah, it's, this is a one minute clip, but yeah, this wasn't really anything special up here, but once we got more exploring into the park, we actually found, you know, the Ferris wheel and the roller coasters that are coming in the next couple clips up. So, but I'm really sorry about the audio, guys. I don't know why I kept cutting out. But I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. This place is a great park to explore. I really hope you guys go out and explore. And like I, I'm going to keep saying, no vandalization. So in this clip, we actually found the first real ride that was still there. Um, that it wasn't demolished and it, um, it's a sign of the park you know because it's the only thing that's really standing over you know 20 feet tall there uh, minus the trees but this is the ferris wheel that operated and it's made out of wood and metal so it's not like a regular roll i mean regular um, ferris wheel nowadays that's you know you know hundreds of feet tall made out of metal and everything sturdy this thing was pretty old so i hope you guys are enjoying and then and then after that, we found some uh, little cars around here. Now, right here, we found one of the old rides. I don't even know what the exact name of this ride, but it was in a it was in about of a circle or an oval shape, and it ran on a singular track. So I thought that was pretty interesting on how they did that. In this part of the video, we actually found these little or not little these trucks. That um, I'm guessing you could probably ride around in on one of the rides, or maybe used by the park. But I didn't, I couldn't find anything on the website, anything about these specific rides. So I zoomed in on this. You know, they're really interesting. They're probably really old. Obviously, you know, they're from you know 40, 50, 60s. You know, when the park was booming. But um, we found those, and then all this is in the same area around here. We found the Ferris wheel is right next to it. And then um, the old um, Himalaya. I don't know what the, I don't know what um, specifically they are, but we found old cars for those, and that's coming in one of the next couple clips up. And I'll take you around the roller coaster that we found too. So, yeah, this whole park is you know it's not in the best shape obviously, but it's still fun to explore. There's a lot there to explore. Good history in the park, and you know this park was a great park. You know it was in the in the Roaring Twenties. Okay, so in this part, we went around and we found the old roller coaster right here, one of the old ones or one of the old attractions. I don't know if it would be considered a roller coaster or not, but um, the old station was right here and when it, how it started out, and it was pretty interesting. Some of it was still intact, obviously, but it actually grew into the tree, so I thought that was cool how, you know, everything's just growing within the trees and with the nature around it, you know, nature's just taking over the park. And uh, yeah, you walked in right here, probably got in right there. That's where the worker worked, you know, bust them off, or not bust them off, but let them off, go in. But, uh, you know, it's still intact. It's all metal. Uh, the station was wood, so, you know, it's falling apart, but the structure's still there. I'm guessing somebody that used to work there or family ancestor, ancestors took some of the, you know, attractions and took them for themselves. Um, but this whole place is cool. I got some cool pictures. I'll put at the end of the video of what we got here. In uh, this clip right here, sorry I say that a lot, but um, in this clip we came across the look to what have been what have would have been a barn, not or the housed animals, and it was pretty interesting, you know, just the way it was shaped and um, you know, what was inside of the building that was down there. I mean, it could have been a restaurant, could have been something else. I don't know, but 
this park has a lot of history inside it and <clears throat> it was cool to you know visit it you know and do all this stuff sorry this is such a long video but there's so much stuff to document here it's such a small park um, it's worth watching you guys uh, you guys can skip through whenever you guys want you know see the best parts of the video but um you know I just explored this you know building right here and then the next couple clips we actually will come across um, you know some old lights that were still there or um, and one of the old roller coasters too so that's that's a good part coming up in the couple, next couple minutes Now, in this part, we have one of the old signs that I would think that kind of looks like, um, you know, a sign you would see on the side of a highway or a side of a road, you know, an advertisement sign. And, you know, they probably lit it up at night, but it could have been an attraction. I couldn't find anything on it. There's a lot of mechanisms inside it, so I didn't know what it would be. But that was pretty cool, you know, going past that. We didn't climb it, obviously, for, you know, safety reasons because I didn't want it to collapse on us. Right here, I was talking about the old light that we found. And, you know, zoomed in on that. It was pretty cool, you know, it's still standing there. And in this part, we actually came across the, the old roller coaster. And this was the best part of the park right here, minus the Ferris wheel. And, um, you know, I think it was an old kitty ride, obviously, because the Big Dipper got shut down. And, yeah, it was just small, you know, I think it's like 25 feet tall, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. That's pushing it. But I thought it was pretty cool, you know, coming across this little lever was still on there, you know, the, you push and pull people on it, or, I mean, start the ride. You know, the trees were going, growing up through it, so, you know, that kind of, you know, obviously wouldn't function at all. Now, I was on top of the ride on this part. I got some cool pictures, too, you know, on top of the ride. And as soon as we were getting down, we also noticed that there's another building behind this. And it was probably the bathroom. What we, you know, we found is there's a, you know, I think there was a sink or something in there that we found, and um, that's coming up. And I, you know, did a little close up on the right a little bit, took some pictures. And like I said, I'll put the pictures in at the end of the video, so I, you guys can see all the pictures that we took. But um, you know, this park, you know, it's you know, the, it's falling apart. Obviously, I made a little joke in the video, but you know, I just took out the audio. You know, made a crash landing right here just like the park in 1978 but um, yeah here's the building right here and I think it's just a stall right here or you know a guy's bathroom or something so and we're almost at the end of the video guys so we have a couple more clips to show you and it should be over Okay guys, we're at the end of today's video and I would love for you guys to like and subscribe because it's naked to go back there in the sun and behind the clouds. I'd love for you guys to like and subscribe. Like I, I want to say in my next videos, please don't ruin the properties. It's a great property. If you guys want to buy it, it's over $3.7 million. I mean, just hit the lady up. And a big shout out to the neighbor that lives across the street. She lives on the second house when you pull in. If you guys ever want to come here, just talk to her. She'll let you in. Just please don't vandalize the place. You guys have a great day, and I'm out. So this is when we were exiting the park. We got out of the park. You know, we got some more pictures of the ballroom that fell down. And, um, yeah, right now we're just, this is the outside of it. You know, this is private property back here. There's a lot of, a lot of neighbors around here that live in this, like, a small, nice neighborhood. So, you know, everyone's probably friends, you know, really friendly back there. Everyone was nice that we ran into that day. We only ran into a couple of people, but they were all nice about everything. And, you know, I'm just going to take you up front and show you the front entrance, you know, what it'll look like when you guys come to it. If you guys ever want to come here, like I said, go into the neighbor's house, you know, one to the left of the first house. And she will probably let you in if you guys are nice about it. And no vandalizing. And the sign said out over here, obviously. You know, they don't want you in. And, um, yeah, there's an old building right here. We didn't explore this building because, you know, it was right over front. And obviously no trespassing, you know, people are going to get arrested for it. So we are at the end of today's video, guys. So this is the front entrance, like I was saying a couple seconds ago. You know, keep out. 
and you guys have a great day i'm going to put some photos at the end of this so i hope you guys like the video enjoy like and subscribe and have fun exploring guys